While we wait to start our bigger renovation on our house, we had to figure out how to modernise the house quickly and cheaply. This is how we modernised the entryway. When you enter the house, there's stairs on the right hand side and the entryway goes down and then turns right and you actually walk underneath the stairs and the stairs cut across the roof. The first thing that really stood out to me when I came and looked at the house was the sun bleached carpet, which repeated itself throughout the whole house. So that was my number one priority of what to replace straight away. We knew we wanted to rip up the carpet. We knew we wanted to replace it with something cheap and easy. However, once we started lifting up the carpet, we found Oak Parquet and I was so happy to see it. I really, really loved it. I really wanted to just leave it as is, but as they lifted up the carpet, it didn't continue through the whole space and you could see where the flooring changed from previous configurations of the house. So sadly, that was not an option. However, there was a positive. When they lifted up the carpet in the main living room, we found the same flooring and that space is far bigger. We weren't able to keep it in there either. However, we didn't get rid of it. We've put the liner down now to protect it in the short term and when it comes time to do our bigger renovation we are going to reuse it somewhere in the house. Between the hallway and the big living room there still isn't enough to use throughout the entire house so we'll have to figure out how much we have and what space it will work in. I felt really lucky to find such nice flooring and I really like the idea of reusing it, it's less wasteful and I really like keeping the energy in the house. It's wood that has been in this house for however long. This beautiful flooring is going to be reused somewhere at some point. I am committed to it. Even though I don't like grey floors and I wouldn't choose this colour ever again, it's obviously an upgrade, so it's definitely made the space feel more clean and streamlined. The walls simply painted over with white paint. You can still see a little bit of the wallpaper underneath, but it's fine for what we need and it definitely freshened up the space, so I'm happy with that. The stairs got the same grey carpet that we used across the upstairs of the house. That's another one that I don't really like grey, but it seems that grey is always the cheapest option and so with a job like this, that's what you end up with. But of course, it's still an upgrade from carpet that was there before and it definitely feels fresher. So furniture. Now the first thing you see when you walk in the door is the console table and I bought that actually on eBay and it was only £30. It's very rustic and it's actually incredibly smooth. I think it's really worn down. I expected it to be a bit clunky and heavy and maybe splintery, but it's none of those things. It works really well for that space. It's the perfect size. It feels more fresh and modern and different to what was there before. Underneath that, I have these candles. They are flameless and they are on a timer. So they just come on in the evenings. I don't have to do anything with them. They make that space look a little bit more interesting and they double as a place for me to store my vases when I don't have any flowers in them. The artwork above the console table, I actually made that. I copied it off an artwork that my mum has and hers is expensive and it's from this store in Busa that I can't remember the name of, but it's a white, trendy, beachy, expensive shop and I copied it. So I literally just got an Ikea frame and then hot glued shells on it. It's a really useful piece of art. I've used it in numerous different spaces. It's a really good way to have neutral artwork so it kind of fits in anywhere I think. I actually have a pair of them and the other one I haven't hung at the moment. Eventually I would like to make a way bigger version of it like the one that my mum has and I think that's something that I'll do in the future because it works really well. Around the corner of the entryway is the more realistic day-to-day -day area. So that cabinet is a DIY I did a few years ago. It's not in very good condition and it's really time for me to replace it. So I'm currently on the lookout for something that I could, maybe a DIY, I don't know, but something can go there. You can see from this space that it does open up onto another blue room. That was originally the third bedroom and we have made it our office slash laundry room. There's a whole story with that room. It was a bit complicated. I will make a video about that room because there's a lot going on in that room. Overall, I think that this was a success. I'm happy with how this room turned out. Here is the information about the other small decorative items in the room and where they are from.